Hello once again and welcome to Africa Stars Club Legends. Um, we are joined by none other than Doc Naube, former captain of African Stars. He steered African Stars to two consecutive Men's State Cup finals in 1980 and 1981. Uh, he enjoyed so much success with African Stars. He was among the first group of players that were selected to represent South Africa in the South African Provincial Curry Cup tournament in 1977 during the maiden edition of Mixed race football in apartheid South Africa. Doc, welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, Doc, we are here to talk a little bit about your 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 stay with African Stars and your football career from where you started and so on. Um, luckily, the two of us come from the same town, the Garden Town of Agaranja. I've watched you as a kid and played against you during your time with spoilers. They're probably one of the best players to have ever come out of the Garden Town. So can you just walk us a little bit down memory lane about your football career? Uh, Carlos, it's a, it's a big story, that one. Uh, I don't know where to start if I would be taking you back on a history line. However, you see, when I hooked up with the soccer, I was on a farm. And then uh, my brothers, elder brothers, during a holiday came with a soccer ball and we had a nice play. I think from that moment, I think it caught with me, the football. But I was still on the farm and they went back and uh, in, in the three months time, I mastered a lot of things on my own. And when they came back, I was the one that was beating them. So that's where I hooked up. So, and then uh, it is, uh, I went to the school in Oganja. When I came there, I also played with the big guys in, in, in the school, school grounds where we were playing, because that's where we were grooming the players. And um, uh, big guys, uh, they would bully you and whatever. But I, actually, that's where you learn. Street football, it's where you learn uh, the tricks and the, 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 the trade of the football being awareness, uh, where the ball is going, what is it doing, and so forth. And then, uh, basically, from there, uh, my friend, most of uh, Asaph, Epson, Asaph. Epson, Asaph. he's the one who introduced me to spoilers, because we were playing young football, and he said, but now, man, we are big enough, man, we can play in the team. But he's older than me, but he wanted me to Asia in, in. He was a very good forward. Huh? Yeah. And then he said, basically, man, 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 let's let's go and play. We cannot just play for this and division and whatever. And, and, then, and then we forced ourselves in the, the team. So spoilers. Uh, you went to MLH, and I remember during the time when you came back with Jephthah, you played for spoilers. And you were a total different player. You you were different from all the other players. Your vision and the way you played football. And I remember at some stage you went to Germany. But when you came back from Germany, you introduced it, you brought a different dimension to the game. What, what did you learn in Germany? Well, it is the other way around, Carlos. I first went to Germany in uh, 1968, 69. I was, for the whole year, I was in Germany. But it was not like a football business. You went for music. Music. Yeah. Um, so the whole day I was in Germany. And there I was exposed to the German football. Uh, we were watching on the television. Sometimes we will go to the <clears throat> stadium and watch how they play. But it's uh, shortly after 1966, which was the World Cup in England. So many of the, uh, the, the recaps were on the television about Pelé's, Gisobius, and whatever. So that caught my interest very well. And I basically, uh, we were not, however, we were, while we were not playing the football there in the Germany, uh, it inspired me. Uh, when we came back uh, in 1970, I went to the secondary school in Karita, so which is also a Yemen-based type of arrangement. And we had a, 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 a PT lecturer there, or the teacher, who was a German guy. A straightforward, simple guy that was just having a one vision for a football. The football is played from center to the, uh, the, the corners and over the air, and then you must come in and hit a goal. So that was the simple football that he was teaching us. Not uh, the dribblings and 
the TikTok park pass scenes and whatever. Back at the moment, and those things. No, 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 back, back hills and uh, like, uh, the, the, those things. Get the ball in the center, get it out of the wings, get it over the, uh, in front of the goal, and five or six guys must come in, and one of them must hit the ball. So that was a simple football that he was teaching us. But um, sports was something that was in me. So I would train a lot at Madaluda. I would train a lot. And that's how when I came back from Madaluda, fitness and a little bit more knowledge of football, I could fit in and uh, dictate what was going on. Well, talking about wing play, uh, we obviously had a lot of great matches. I, I barely see you having a, an off day. But there's one particular match that I remember very well. You played Sparta in Wolves Bay. At the time, Sparta, they were very hot. They were beating teams left, right and center. That day you were in song. You were playing on the right wing. You remember that match against Sparta at their field? I think it was 1978 or something like that. That was for African Stars? Yes, with African Stars. You see, when I joined African Stars... You won 5-3. When I joined African Stars, almost for a year, I didn't have a space in the team, because it was star star And uh, as such, you see, you will fit in where they would put you in. Especially also when I came to Madaluda, I was picked in the like fullback, as we were calling those days. Like, uh, two fullbacks, I was one of them in, in the back, because of my size and fitness. So that's where they did. But in the three, three months time, I got to gain fitness and ball control, and I just said, no, no, I'm not gonna play in here, and I went flat. When they said play there in the African Stars, I would gladly go up and play. Though so in order to impress, you see, that's where you are basically say, this is my opportunity. Whether it's my uh, left position or the right position or the center forward or wherever. You, uh, in those, those days, if you get an opportunity in the African Stars, you must prove. And that is what the opportunity I was having that time. That's why I was saying, now I must at least deliver so that when I go back, at least I must come into the team. Because the position I was playing for African Stars as a player, a great player was playing there. Kaiga was playing there for them as a captain also. So for me to, to come in from Okahanja and measure into that position, it was very difficult. So if a position is up, out front, wherever, I will pop in. And even also in my making, if I go to a town like Vietnam Swap or wherever, if the people are saying, oh, there is stock now, but you must play for, for us, you must help us, then they will say, you must play center forward. I will ask him, where is your weak point? We don't have a left for you. I will say, I'll play left for you. Let your best person play in the position that he's playing usually. Let me cover the other positions that are weak, because now you put me in a position, that person cannot play the other position. Now we are weak, double weak. So that's how I basically learned my football on various positions. Now, talking about that match in Wolves Bay, um, you brought a new dimension into wing play. I mean, a lot of wingers, they used to cross the ball, go down the, the line and hit the ball hard. But you brought the style of just squaring the ball. You pull the ball back to the midfielders. Uh, it's something that we never saw before. You, 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 brought, up, you brought this thing into the game. Carlos, you, you, my usual position at school was the center forward. So now you are playing with people that are coming from that school that will bring the ball in for you, either on the air or on the ground. Sometimes you play in another team and you play that position and you are staff. Basically you are staff if you play with other people. You play, let me just mention a name, a person like Kabushi. Very strong player. But when he's having his ball on the left wing, he'll go for the goal. The center for it is, is zero. So basically, th those are the things when you play in another team on a center forward position, you are tough because the guys that are on the wings are very strong and they go for goals. Uh, now, being a center forward playing now on the right on the wing, I would say, now I must support that situation. And this is how I was trying to do it, say, no, you are out here, your thing is to support, your thing is to support. Now, Doc, um, you, you played for a very long time, African Stars. Um, 
having played for clubs like Spoilers, Battle Boys, Okahanja Mannschaft, Rembrandt Katutura, DTS, um, and, uh, Eros, yeah. and, and yes. Now, how was the atmosphere within African Stars Game? Obviously, I know, I, mean, I also experienced the same feeling as the majority of players came from Okahanja. So, what was the kind of a cultural difference like? I mean, it looks like we were a happy bunch of players together. You see, okay, 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 okay. playing for uh, African Stars, deciding to join African Stars, was not a big problem for me from Okahanja's side. But it was a problem in Winduk. Uh, Winduk was uh, a place that was racially... Too tribalistic, ethnic tribalistic. attachments, yeah. And uh, those days, we had a very nasty welcoming from the, the, the spectators when we were playing for African Stars. But the, 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 the camp, the players, um, most I remember of them, you were called all sort of names like DTAs and all these things. Many things. Yeah. Many things. I don't want to repeat those yeah. type of names, but uh, it's, it's coming from my people who are calling us those yeah. type of names. But nevertheless, it, it was not, you see, coming from Martin Luther High School, where we were not having these things, coming from Okaha, oh, yes. where we were not having this type of, um, the, knowing all the players in the team, the spirit was actually accommodated from the player side. You would, could talk to anyone, everyone. Uh, there were some players that you obviously wouldn't know, like um, Jiva or Kiri yeah. or, or guys that were, from the, from the, they were not from Oganja, from Oganja. Yes, yes. but they were also eager to play. Yeah. They were eager to play and will accommodate you in that context. So from the way to go, you were just the bellies. You could say anything to them, they could say anything to you. And that is the, basically a, 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 that grind us together quickly in the, in the team. However, on the field of play, it would be difficult because then you must select 11 guys. 11 guys that are good. And if you are not good... The best, yeah. Yeah, the best. If you are not good, you will sit on the bench. And those days, replacements were just few. Only in case of injuries. Case of injuries yeah. and whatever. So it might be that the whole month you will be on the bench yeah. if you are not strong enough. When I came, almost for a year, as I've said, I was on the bench. I was on the bench of saying, no, man, I'm not playing football. I must make a plan. Maybe go to another team or whatever, because I used to play for Rambler's Cathedral. So I was contemplating to say, man, maybe I must go back. But then I said, I said, but then I'm a failure. I'm a failure if I do that. And I said, no, no, that cannot be. And I said, but what are these guys doing that keep them on the field? And I, I watched them. Very, training was like a match. For those guys, you how you bully yourself in the, to the guys, how you keep the ball, how you are fast on the ball, how you get on, on in the positions. Basically, that's how I learned it and said, okay, this is what you are doing. And that's where I, I basically said, I'll, I'll fit into this the team. Now, you were among the very first black players who were selected to represent South West Africa in the, in the provincials of South African Curry Cup. Um, and then you also played for Ganja Mannschaft, which was predominantly a white team, and then DTS. How was the integration like, the racial uh, integration between the blacks and, and white players? Cultural differences and all these kind of things. You think the, the, the Okahanja Mannschaft was not a, actually a team that was in Okahanja already. They had the, the Okahanja football team, which basically did not have the players. Most of the players, the white players, were farmers. If they are not farmers, they were somewhere else or whatever. So there would be maybe five, six players that were there. And uh, uh, when the idea of playing in the league came, that's when the, the guys talk about, let us bring these players together so that we are having a team in Okanja. A decent team, yeah. Uh, yeah. And that's why the name was just a manchaf. That's the manchaf. And, and, and not the, the spoilers or black beauties yeah. or, or magic or, tigers or, or battle boys. Yeah. No, whoever was good was well into was welcome into that team. So the first basically all of the guys were young guys. 
they were playing. Those who didn't play, who have issues, they were not playing. They were not playing. They, 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 they moved away. Uh, I can mention a name like Shorty. Uh, also, uh, Shorty D'Agosta. D'Agosta, D'Agosta yeah. yeah. He, he didn't want to play. He was not a, exactly a very good player anyway. Yeah, he was a maintainer of yeah, the systems yeah. and whatever, yeah. but he was not a very good player. But yeah. he was persistent when he came from, yeah. the, 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 I think, uh, in Angola or whatever. He was a good player. He was making things happening. He came from Mozambique. Yeah. I don't know, Mozambique or wherever. We just call him on, from Angola. And then uh, some of the guys were siding with him and they were not playing with us. But they were young guys, especially the Rapun brothers. Yeah, yeah, yes. Rapun yeah. brothers um, uh, uh, that we also used to play in the DDS together. I know that. I yeah, know that. and uh, Rapun and, uh, and even the, 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 the father invited us into his house and say, "This is my team. Mansha is my team. He is the one who sponsored me on, on the trip to, 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 to South Africa. South Africa, saying from the first time that Namibia is electing a team in a black tie, I will support you." And they gave me whatever money that was needed to go to South Africa on that trip. And then you became captain of African Stars, probably one of the most successful captains ever in the history of African Stars. Um, can you tell us a little bit, how was, what, was the, what was the secret behind the success of African Stars? I mean, you led that team to various, various victories and the team was really playing some good football. You tell us the, the, the first thing for, for, for a captain is discipline. If you are ill-disciplined, your players will be ill-disciplined as a captain. Uh, you must show some examples of being a good captain, good person on the field. People must be able to trust you. Um, so I, 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 I thought firstly when the guy say we are selecting you as a captain, I thought this is a joke. And then Oscar said, welcome, you are a captain and give me a tip. So I didn't know, but it's something that maybe they have discussed and say, they let us do this. And then it, 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 I said, no, now I must show as a captain, I must be a front line. I must lead by example. I must lead by example. And, 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 and mind you, we had a, 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 a good players. And also in during that time, we had a very young good players coming into it that will just destroying the teams up front. The, the Juku, Juku and uh, Jacksons, uh, a couple of other guys, the, the, the names kind of, I cannot call the names now, but good young guys came in, in, in during that time. But we had a very good, stable defense line. Um, in, the, in the gold goals, we had uh, uh, Jiva. Jiva, very Reliable goalkeeper. George Karisev. George Karisev. Karicha. Albert Hero. Merino. Kiri. Kiri. Yeah. Very strong, reliable guys that were defending. So, Willy Rita. So, we had a strong defense line. And basically, the changes mostly <coughs> were up front, where you were making the changes. <coughs> you yourself were the one that was coming into the and make the differences when we were locked up. You would come in and say, make a difference, and make a run and have a, a bullet on the goal and whatever. We had also the, 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 the very short time when I was captain, uh, the, the, the guy from, um, the, the doctor from Congo. Oh, about Zenga, Zenga, Dodo. Dodo Zenga. Yeah, Zenga, Dodo, yeah. We had the, 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 the Americos. Americo de Almeida and Almeida. Zenga Malinga. Malinga. Those were the guys that were making the, the differences with the ball, on the ball, basically. Why is the people are uh, concentrating here? When they are getting the ball, they will make the differences and, and, and such. So we had a very good, strong uh, establishment in place. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, you, you, after retiring, I mean, you, you walked, you came a long way with football. You were the first president of the Namibian Football Association, and you went to serve on, on various committees. You have done so much for Namibian football. Can you just tell us how was it like, I mean, uh, driving Namibia into integration of international football? Uh, what was the challenges? I think that was a big challenge. Firstly, there was no constitution. 
uh, I tried to put together something based on the FIFA uh, guidelines. Um, and uh, the biggest challenge was to mold the different leagues that were there into one league. The, 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 the challenge was how many teams can we have in the Premier League? 24 was a num number that was mentioned, 22. Um, my idea was basically 12 teams in the Premier League. That was it. Now, obviously, as a leader and uh, knowing the demand from people, I would go low so that the people can come so that we meet halfway. So, molding these different uh, entities that were there, not the players, the entities that were there, the, the, the white football, the, the Kadutura football, the Walvisper football, the different football as associations or the federations that were there together. That was a big challenge. Especially, you would recall when we had the it, uh, just the, the interim committee with the independent and, uh, and, and, uh, and uh, Joe Monsono offered to be here on his own cause and to grace the occasion. Some said, you know, you don't, he's not going to play, he must play. Uh, with Franz Beckenbauer as well? Uh, not, no, 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 Rumenike, Rumenike, Rumenike and, 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 and Camacho. Camacho from yeah. Spain. Yes. Yeah. And we said, okay, let us do two teams, which is the national team, a, a national team, team and an a, 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 a invitational side. So that we can have an invitational side that will play either way. And the Yomo offered to be here. And I think the crowd loved him to see him, what he was I doing. remember the match was probably 10 minutes old when the crowd was chanting for him. He was on the bench. Yeah. They, they yeah. have to bring him on. Yeah. yeah. So and he scored a beauty of a thing. He scored a beauty of a, for the occasion that yeah. was there. So bringing together those entities, the entities of the various, that was a problem. That was a big problem. However, we managed to have a 16 team league, and uh, we started off with that one, and uh, we moved from there. Coming back to African stars, you played with so many great players. Which players really do you think were exceptional? Carlos, you see, the, an exceptional player would be, if I can mention in his own, is Jiba, because there was no match for him. No match for him. For me, he was the best goalkeeper I've ever seen yeah. in American football. So you will have that. The others, you can, if you are saying, like uh, uh, take Kabushi, you will have another player there. If you say Kabushi, you will have another player there that is having a different style of play. If you say Doc now, you will have another player that is that is in a different flavor of play. So for me, being that person playing in that position and keeping clean sheets that he was doing, I would say he is the one that would, in my time, he was the one that I can say he is the exceptional player. The rest of the players, they were good. They were good. The the George Curry said Kiri would be playing left back in the middle. Send up back. You, 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 you can put them everywhere, you see. So they were good players that were there. Um, the silent person, Karincha, very good player. He's not talking anything, but you will work your. He does his job on the field. He yeah. does his job on the field. He will get the ball from you either way or whatever. You'll get the ball from you. So uh, many players basically. Are, the team was exceptionally good with that, with the gifted with talent. But uh, obviously, uh, if you take a second goalkeeper to Jiva, it will always uh, be low standard yes. those days. What was the influence of Oscar Mango as a chief conductor in the middle of the park? And having just come back from um, South Africa, played for Kaiser Chiefs, um, what, was his, what, what, what type of player would you, how, do, how would you describe him? Uh, <laughs> I think I came into being an African Stars when um, there was a trip to Zimbabwe, or where was it? Zimbabwe, yeah, they went with flames to Rhodesia. Yeah. yeah. And, and uh, was, they were suspended. They were suspended. And the African Stars had a shortage of players. Yeah. And that's, I think, that's where the drive came, that I must be also coming in. But Oscar is a, one of the players that, uh, that I know that could not take losing. So he will run his legs off in order to win. He will do everything that he can do on the field for that 90 minutes. 
in order to win. That is in the kind of Oscar. One of those exceptional players. One of those ex exceptional players. Because you're not going to get another Oscar Mango in the context that we are having. A very good player, ball dribbler, a visionary on the field. Um, he'll make plans. Whilst you guys are playing there, he'll make plans. However, he was also a, a person that was driving the team off the field. He's the one who was making the moves for the team on the, off the field. So it, it, he was a great influencer, great influencer, good player, organized things. If you think uh, what, 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 all of a sudden we find ourselves in Kimberley. I don't know from where he got that idea. We were in Kimberley playing football there. I remember that trip with Bobby Sissing as well. Yes. Bobby was also so you, you guys are planning things around here. You think that this is Oscar's idea is already somewhere, somewhere else. Somewhere else. You think uh, uh, African Star said does not have players. Here comes uh, uh, Tonji Magic and uh, 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 his, uh, the other colleague, bomb in the team. So whilst the, the, the things are happening, you will move on to see what can you do for the team. This improvement. 1985, eight of the country's top teams decided to break away from Swafa and form the NSSL. I'm sure you were part of that setup. Uh, what were the challenges? I mean, for, because I remember authorities denying the clubs facilities to Hovis Bay and in Benduk, and they could also not represent South West Africa in the Mbala Cup because apparently they were the rebel kind of league. So, what were the challenges? Um, I think 1985, I don't think I was playing football. Yeah, you stopped in 84. I, I stopped in 92. 83, 83, 82. 82, 82, I stopped playing. You didn't, play, playing. You didn't play in the Men's League Cup final in 1984. Yeah, no. You didn't play, yeah. Um, what was happening is basically in, the, in the, 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 those days it's, is um, uh, uh, the, the, the guys, you, you didn't, we, we, we formed a league that was organized by combinedly with whites. And uh, whilst these things are going on, those teams that are, you are mentioning said, no, we're not going to play into this team. Uh, money, the, the, the biggest idea was the money issue. Eight takings. Yeah. Eight takings. We are the ones that are bringing the crowd. Those teams are not bringing the crowd. How can we be together? So how can we benefit you? How can we? So even if we go and play on their grounds, our supporters are coming. Yeah. They're getting. So basically, that notion of we are feeding the existing situation in West this was the drive. In a, we put the two type of strong arrangements. Uh, I was not part of the breakaway system. So, whilst I was in the, in the we had a central football association, association CFA, CFA, uh, which I was also chairman once, and uh, so forth. Uh, so, I, 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 whilst I was not playing, I started playing the casual football with BDS. So that's how I landed in this is just to play because it was casual arrangement. So it was almost like. Um, um, breaking down the football okay. into two sections, sections. Or whatever, yeah. the luckily in the two three years time the independence came and brought us together again otherwise we would have had those two strong situations in uh, in football further afield now i mean we all understand that football dynamics have changed quite a lot and in comparing football from a previous year during your playing time and I'm sure that now and then you go and watch the odd game or so. What is the difference? What, where do you see the difference between... Because a lot of things have changed. I mean, diet and I mean, the, the techniques, a lot of things. But in terms of quality, what is the impression of the current crop of players? Current crop of players are very young. They come in very young. Does not have experience of playing football on the streets or in the schools. If you take the school sports today, um, in the year maybe they are playing four or five games, if, if not less. They, so I'm just talking about Augustine. They might be, be playing three or four, four games. Those years you will be playing at least eight 
games for a high school. No, a young player playing this uh, small football because uh, playing of playing fields available in uh, in the areas where they are playing to stay is non-existent. Um, if you take, for instance, Okahanja, you would go on the main field and play in the afternoon or whatever. If that is not in the location somewhere, there is an open space where you will have a match or whatever from from that section and this section. We used to play a Damaranama yeah. type of soccer in Okahanja. You go to the, the, that side and you play the, that match there. The other day, you guys are coming. Mm. Other day, you guys are playing against the, 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 the Kalats. We had those type of things okay, because that's where you are learning. So today's young players, firstly, there is no field of practicing for them because they must be paid when they go pra practice. Mm. So maybe 10 games that, that this guy is having. Good player. Now he comes to African Stars to play for African Stars. So basically, quality-wise, this person must learn football in the first division of a Premier League. And that is, that, is, that is the lack that you see when you go to the field. You see, this is a good player, but he lacks purely, not only experience, he lacks talent. His own talent, he lacks his own talent. He is not improving his own talent. He's not strong enough in the legs. He's a youngster. He is maybe 19, 18 years old, but if you see him, he looks like a boss on the field. So when he is boss on the field, there's no discipline in the player. When I'm hearing sometimes from the people, when you replace them, you must now please him. When you are he's on the bench, you must please him. When you take the players to a game, you must please them. So the, today's game for the players, it's more pleasing games from the management. That's how I see it. I, I, don't, I don't know what the managers are saying. It's more pleasing the player in order to perform. Uh, those years we had a love for the game and for the team. If, if these things are not there, basically, you, you, you're not part of it. You, if you love the game, you will play for any team without any problem. If you love the team, then you will come back to your team and you will play there. Because that is what, what we are doing. Today, my love for spoilers is still there. It's still there, but I cannot play football, unfortunately. <laughs> my love for everything is there. Is there. <laughs> because that, 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 that love must be there from the players. Now, today's players, the love is maybe money, maybe how they are... There's no loyalty there. anymore. Yeah. There's no... Loyalty, I, I don't have, you see, when you are loyal to yourself, you need to develop yourself and say, I would be one day, let me just go outside and be a messy in Namibia. And therefore, I'm working. Uh, you would see when you are having a, a tournament those days, you will see the, the, the Umatis brothers on the road, not with the team. You will see Fossi running his kilometers or whatever. You will see African stars in camp. They will see them running from Lions Motors to wherever. That was a long stretch. Huh? You, you, you understand? <laughs> okay. that, that, that discipline to get yourself ready. Yourself ready. And if you miss the Lions Motors, you know that basically. You're not going to play. Yeah. You're not gonna play. You, you will be on the bench. Yeah. You will be on the bench. So these are the things that um, like we're having. Uh, but after the Chedugu, may his soul rest in peace. That's not a good runner, long distance, but he will come. But you need him on the field. He was very lazy when he uh, comes around the long yes, distance. Yes, very lazy, but he will come and he will do, but when it's a speed game on the running, he was the first. And on the field, he will show you what he can do. So those are the things that were happening that you will have with him. Maybe the training methods were not there. They were maybe just this type of training methods, but it kept the players very fit and kept them for 90 minutes on the field. Now, Doc, almost more than three decades of independence. We still don't have a professional league in Namibia, and we've been surpassed by countries like Botswana. The majority of our players are now playing in the Botswana League. And if you look at the South African League, the best players there are Namibians, shallowly. Anamo, Otto, you name them. And over the years, I think we have the talent. 
What would you say, what should be done to get our league to that level of fully professionalism? Carlos, there are two things that are, or, or let me just say first the one thing. Um, money is the issue. Um, those places you have mentioned are having the means of money. Uh, I don't know how they have gone that they are having the money. In South Africa, we know they are sitting on the, 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 the multiple internationals and uh, whatever, and that can sponsor them the way they are sponsoring. Namibia is a small country with the, the economy that we are having. Uh, the, the, the type of money that players would be demanding because they are playing for, say, national team, they are comparing themselves with whoever is somewhere playing for South Africa. These guys, for camping, they're getting this, they are getting it. Now, we must give them the same type of treatment. But you don't understand that maybe your standard, even if, okay, okay, I, I, without prejudice, I'm just mentioning names. Chalulina is a very good player. You must pay him what he's maybe getting on that side when he's this side. But now we are taking a player ABC from uh, chess. And now you put him in. The standard of player for, 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 for cellulite and standard of playing for this player in the national team is not the same. But now they must earn the same money. And if not, then there is a problem. Now that mind basically is the one that is killing us. Money is the one that is killing us. How do we go about to make money? Uh, I, I, I think it's, it's, it's a very long story. It's, it's somewhere that we must go and say, maybe we must make a sports foundation whereby people must invest money. Because there are a lot of companies that are putting in money that uh, are saying to there and there. We know from the previous line of putting in money, people who are having businesses where the white people, they will be putting money into rugby. Rugby now is dominated by other people. Rugby does not have money. Who is not putting in? The, money, the person that is having the business is not putting in the money. So the sport itself is not in a position to generate the resources that we are saying that they need. It's, there's no way that the, you will have a, a sport that will generate the resources that the players need in order to compete with the other side that they are getting. When you pay the national team, I'm just talking about the national team players. When you pay a national team player $100, you must pay the ladies $100. It's in order to be equal in the pay level. So if you don't do that, it's a problem. It's a problem. Those people who have a problem, they don't want to play because they're not being treated equal. So that equal. It's, it's, it's where a way to find the balance there. Yeah, where for your performance and what you are putting in and what you are getting, it's very difficult. You get equal play, but you don't put in equal. And that is, that is the, the biggest problem. I think there is a way that one can sit down and say, what can we do in order to get the money in the sports so that we can pay the players what they want? Because uh, players must get. Players today are not in the teams that we think where they are. Maybe they are outside where, they, where the second divisions are playing. But are they getting enough exposure on the field where they are? Um, you, if, if, if we take back, many players were coming from outside for the big team. You can name them for the big teams. They are not from the central, they are not from Ketmasu, they are not from Wolfis Bay. It's mostly the imports that were coming in from other places that were the good players there. Now, the players are basically outside there. Now, how do you maintain the systems there? Because that is the system that must be maintained so that it can produce, because that's the judge of fabric. If that fabric is not manufacturing the players, you cannot have the, the good thing. Now, all of them, if they are having a, two, a good two shots or whatever, they want to come to Windu. They want to come to and play somewhere here and end up in a, maybe a losing streak. Because he cannot support it. Uh, he's not having a place to stay. 
uh, money is not coming because mm. the pay is not there. What, what. Now he thinks, ah, oh, I'm lost here. I will be. So many talents because of the money issues are being lost in, in that regard. I think if we sit down and look for money, how can we get the money? And uh, get, create a sports foundation and uh, put in money all these investors that are around here, all the companies that are around here. If you can sell a national idea to them and say, we need to develop a sport in order to alleviate unemployment. Because when you are having a good sports programs, you will have people that are working for them. I don't know even today, African Stars, how many people are working for African Stars on someone's cost, but not generating the resources. African Stars is not generating the resources that it needs to resource the players or maintain the system of African Stars. Now, if there is a pot which will say we are having these things so that when African Stars is playing in the Premier League, you get the resources. You know what they are doing in England? When you are promoted to the higher division, you get a chunk of money in order to maintain yourself into the system. Here you are from Epukiro, uh, you are promoted to the Premier League, you come on as you are. You come, you come here and you come, 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 compete with African stars that is established into this, this system and you are competing. The two, three games you are bombarding African stars and, and then you are missing. You don't turn up for the match in Cape Maso. You don't turn up for the game in Okahandia. Because of resources. And that is, that is the big problem that we are sitting with. If we can address the issue of the resources, uh, I'm not saying everybody must get the millions that uh, the, is there, but at least a standard type of, of, of resourcing so that the football association can say, I'm in charge of these things. Talking about resources and money, there is this stone age culture of community clubs. Now, if one has to look back, most of the successful teams are clubs that are owned or that have been taken over by people of deep pockets. And look at Black Africa today. Um, same is happening to mm -hmm. Lando Paris. These are big clubs and it's Set very stories. painful Set when stories. you watch them going, the way mm -hmm. things are going now. 11 arrows have been relegated. They won the league, I think, that in 1991, or if I'm not mistaken, one of the top clubs. Um, so what will you say for the club to be sustainable. I think the culture, this old Stone Age culture of community clubs, the community have a say, but they don't put money to the clubs. Okay, it, it's, a, it's a sad story that you're picturing there, but I think um, it, it also stems from the money issue. You get in someone that is having resources today that cannot sustain those resources. You mentioned Orlando Pirates, it's the same story. You mentioned the uh, BA, it's the same story. 11 arrows. 11 arrows, same story. Someone with a, 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 a big bag of money comes in and says, no, I'm in charge, I will get what, 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 what. And that bag of money... Dry up. Dry up. And then you have created something here that you cannot maintain. Expectations. Expectations. Um, it, 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 you see, when, 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 when you are advising people, they don't listen to you. I've witnessed the building up of GDS. I've witnessed the building up of Remless Pool. I was the president when BA wanted to build a stadium. I said, Joseph hey, Martin. So, in so way to, yeah. in so way Joseph Martin was running around. I said, Joseph Martin, please don't go or don't move on with this project. Stay here. Try and get yourself a training field, which you can build up to a whatever. Because the playing fields for competitions, it's not a problem. Now you want to build a stadium which you cannot maintain. Because it is <laughs> because you are having problems with the team already. Now you want to continue. Get a place where you can have it a, becomes a coming ability. together, coming together. When, because you are having a good team, when the team is winning, you come together. That is where you are grooming the, the team's existence. Uh, I was the chairperson. 
He went and conveyed the message. He was swearing at me. Who the hell does he think? That uh, Herodo Boy or whatever you do. That, 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 what is it that telling us to do these things? However, what happened to that place today? Someone else's place. Taika's place. What happened to that? Because we want to build a stadium. Um, the, 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 where is the k, 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 Real Madrid playing? Where is Real Madrid? It's a municipal the, the arrangement. Where is Bayern Munich playing? They don't own these things. They play there. Same with Chelsea. So, so, with Chelsea, they, they play at the stadium that exists for them having rights to do the, those things. Now, you know, we're having eight teams in the, in the central that can play at the independent stadium or, 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 the, or the same New York stadium. That is other people's thing. Now you want to build a stadium because you see those things. And that is the, the, the mentality that we are sitting with. We want to emulate what the others are doing without knowing what the cost, the cost yeah, is, what the real cost is. The consequences. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm very much sorry for what is happening. As I'm saying, I've got a big issue that uh, the, 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 the historically all teams are dying in this way. Um, we can go back and say, Hungry Lands, where is it? You can go back, uh, Young, young ones. ones. Yeah. You can go back and say, Surrender Box. Surrender Box. All, all the, all the Robert Chandis, um, uh, uh, ranchers from Tunis. Maybe they are still there. Chelsea. Chelsea. Great teams. Great teams. Yeah. And it's because of these things that we don't build something that is there for the team. We just go into the car. Go play and, and then we come back. Oh, we won. Blah, 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 blah. And then, end of the story. We, we don't build the things. You know? Not building is, is a problem. We must build it. Get a place where you can say, this is where you must, you must at least train, or this is the place where we come together. When we are happy, when we are sad, we come here because we have lost someone or we have uh, someone is sick, one of our players. We don't go to a street and say, what, what, what? We say, come together at our place where we are coming together, and that's how you build it from there. Small, 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 small. One of the best uh, services today is the DTS field. The, the, the playing field. It's a, one of the best playing fields. I, I have not seen the, for a couple of months SKW because that was one of the... One the of other, the best, yeah. One yeah. of the best. The, the, the surface is... And it's small, small building with other entities that are making the money for you for that type of arrangement. We are basically having a, 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 a football, netball, at, at, at the most, if you are adding something, we don't even have other things that are coming. It's yes, football, football, that, and netball that we are talking about. Uh, netball in the clubs, I don't know whether it exists. Maybe it's other entities to, to nowadays. Everything says was having a good netball team. BA was a strong netball team. Tigers, Tigers was Orlando a very strong, yeah. Orlando was very strong netball teams. They are not bad. Now, back in the day, most of the teams had second teams, which served as fitter. On, even for some injured players, when they're recovering, to come back, they start, they start playing in the second team. And then uh, that thing is gone now. There's with the emergence of youth academies. Now, there are hopelessly too many youth academies. And you don't really know where these players are placed or where they're going to after graduating from, from these academies. What is your take on that? Well, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. You see, if, if one would be reading the, 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 the constitution of the academies or the aims and objectives of the, of the academies, then one can comment much better. Um, for me personally, right now, it's 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 it's, it's someone's business, and it, it ends there. I bring my child there; he's running for the year. I pay, and it's end of the year. I can say, no, man, I'm I'm not happy. My what what, and I can stay away. This 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 this. I don't know whether there is a progression report or wish from the. No, no, Carlos, you cannot take out your child because now we are here. We will be moving now from here to there. I don't know whether they are having this type of things. I'm just hearing uh, academy, I'm hearing Bob Sol, I'm hearing those things. It's, it's entities within the big frame of football which is not existing. 
I'm saying it's not existing. Um, the, 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 the uh, players, if, if you take it from the, 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 because it's coming from foreign, if you take it the, the Academy of Manchester United, Liverpool, it's a system within the bigger system. Like, you won't hear unless you go in and find out. Ryan Kicks is a, a, a product of the academy. Uh, Beckham is a product of the academy. Nine years old, six years old. Because there's a progression to the... Now, where do these guys, where, where do they aim? Maybe one day uh, own the guy and say, I'm selling you to, to, to Botswana or Angola or whatever, and make the money or whatever. But these things, because you cannot have a system outside the existing system. Football is the one umbrella thing under which things must happen. Uh, I'll register my academy, but where does it link from there? Exactly. Where does it link from there? Exactly. Yeah. Now it's from there, it's just individuals that are linked to the teams. And now African stars must come and at that academy look for a player and say, oh, this player, now we cannot afford, he's good, but we cannot afford him because now you are touching him. You are touching him to do. For me, spoilers did not ask any money for me to play for African stars. I just said, okay, now I am playing there, and boom, that was it. And the people were saying, as long as you are happy, go play. Now, today, a talent that we want here, which, because we don't have a system that we can also mature this talent in, in a, we cannot get you in. But if that academy is within that structure, we can get him in so that he can say, okay, now I'm in the academy, C, this, the next year I'll maybe in a B, and then I'll go to A, and then I can mature to the, the top, top side. But it's not there. And that, for me, it's a, that, that person's business today. Well said, and with that, we have come to the end of another edition of Everything Stars Club Legends. But before we say goodbye, we want to send our condolences to, to the, brief, the brief family of one of uh, Stars Legends, Albert Karumbuka here. The man who scored the winning goal in the Dave Scannis Finishers Cup final against Black Africa in 1975. May his soul rest in peace. Mm -hmm.